okay so in this series of videos I'm gonna call uh, cams and planes what we're gonna get some help with is creating some cams for our beginning automata box in activity 4.5 and where do how do we know how to make the plans? I've given you hard copies, but there's also a picture here. A couple things to note. You'll notice that there's this variable D here, and that stands for a diameter. It's a nominal diameter. The diameter that you pick, everyone might make it a little bit uh, different. The diameter is going to come from Project Lead the Way website. So if I scroll down here, it says right here uh, in a team ch will choose a different nominal diameter from one and a half to two and a half or three. All the examples I'm going to use, I'm going to use a nominal diameter of two. So you can do the same thing that I'm doing, except maybe use your nominal diameter. The other thing that we want to do is not only do we want to make the cam, we want to place some of these work planes on it. These work planes will be uh, very useful when we start actually putting the cam into the assembly to try to get it to spin with the axle and push the follower up and down. So I'm going to show you how to quickly do those as well. So let's go ahead and get to work. So I'm going to open up Inventor. Make sure before you get started that you're working in Activity 4.5. We set those files up and we downloaded the files from Project Lead the way into there. I'm already in there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start a new part. Standard IPT. And create a new sketch. I'm going to work on the XY plane. I'm going to create the eccentric cam first and show you how fast and simple it is. Again, I'm working on my cut my plans that are in front of me. You know where they are, and they're also on Project Lead the Way. So first thing I'm going to do is make a circle. The plans call for a diameter, and you'll notice, right, that's the symbol for diameter all the way across the circle, those dotted lines of two inches. I'll put two in there and reframe that. Now that's almost almost done at this point. I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to extrude it. Where on the plans does it tell us that? It says down here that it should be 3 16 inch thick. So we're going to extrude every cam that we make 3 16 of an inch. So I'll go here, hit the extrude, and I'm going to change 1 inch to just 3 16 I'll just put it in as a fraction. Okay. So there it is, the beginnings of my cam. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually then place the hole for the cam in. I'm going to make a circle somewhere right around here. And the hole, according to my plan, should also be 3 16 of an inch diameter. Now, the only thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm putting the hole in the right place. So I'm going to use the dimension tool and my plan, say, from the center of the cam to the center of the hole for the axle should be a quarter of the diameter. So my diameter is 2, a quarter, that is 0.5. I'll hit sketch, or finish sketch, extrude, and in this case I want to cut it. So there it is. So there is the cam. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to place a couple work planes on it, and I'll show you how simple that is to do. There's a couple of ways that I could have done it on the offs on the beginnings, and I'll show you the second one when I make the hexagonal cam. But I've already made it. I've made this sketch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one, a uh, plane offset from a plane. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that plane. So that's a plane, the face of my cam. And I'm going to offset it in towards the center, and I want to offset it half the thickness. The thickness was 3 16 so half the thickness, thickness would be 1.5 16 And I'll put that in there. Oops. Whoops, look at that. I offset it in the wrong direction. So I'm going to go back there and say, uh, let's see if we can delete that work plane. Apologize, I didn't see the vector in the right, the arrow in the right direction. So I'm going to hit plane, offset from plane. So this is the plane. I want to move the vector in that direction, and then that's what I'm going to specify. Then it should be minus 1.5 sixteenths. So what's the, what have we done there? We've put a plane smack through the center of that one. The next one, because of the way that we've drawn it, should be even easier if you remember the way that we drew it. So I'm going to go to the origins file. shows all of the planes, how we started our sketch in the first place. And I want that plane. I don't have to make this plane. It's already there from the plane that we started to draw on. So I'm going to right-click that and hit visibility. Now that one is set. I'm going to hit control save for this 
and I will call this eccentric. I'm going to actually call it eccentric2 because I probably already made one as an example. You can call yours eccentric. So that one is saved. I'm going to quickly then show you the hexagonal cam. I'm going to do another part. I'm going to close that one down. And we'll do new. Part. This one I'm going to do the plane slightly different. I'll show you how simple it is to make the hexagonon. <laughs> hexagonon. Hexagon. So we're going to go here to polygon. And we're going to select this. First thing that comes up is we can make polygons with different sides, and it automatically defaults, or at least mine did, opened up to six, which is what I want for a hexagon. So I'm going to hit done. Oh, no, I need to do that again. Polygon. And put it this way. I'm going to try to get that thing, uh, the top and bottom, parallel to my axis. And there. So I click that on there. Now I'm going to dimension it. So the distance from here to here is like the diameter. That should be 2. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that dimension here to here. I'm going to set that at 2. I'm going to finish sketch. Now watch the way that I do this extrusion. I'm going to extrude. And in this case, instead of coming backwards and making that plane, I'm going to use this extrude. It's going to extrude, again, I want it 3 sixteenths. But this will extrude to 3 sixteenths, but it'll do half in each direction. And the reason that this is nice is because now I already have that plane in there, the, the plane that I'm drawing. And I'm going to show you what I mean in just a moment. So I'm going to hit OK. And then the last thing I need to do is put the hole in there. This one, the hole goes smack dab in the center. Diameter of, again, 3 sixteenths. Finish. Extrude. And cut that out. Now we need to put the work planes on. So I'll show you uh, what we can do here. In this case, I'm going to go to the origins file. I want that one. So I'll click visibility. Keep that one on. And because of the way that I extruded this plane, I'm going to hit the XY plane and hit visibility. And I'll spin that around and see that one smack dab in the center also. So those are the planes we want. So control save. And I'll call this hexagon 2. Spelling's awful. All right, so that's how to make the two relatively simple cams. I'll help you with the snail and the pear, which I'm going to use some constraints for in the other video.